because you will get medicine visa card. My sister, somebody got one. I'm living in a house now, and uh, they were, they were uh, military people, and uh, they got a visa card thing, and an attorney actually made an affidavit. I said to my sister, wow, look, an affidavit from an attorney. But the attorney's not going to be able to affirm this affidavit in open court, but they can send all kinds of nonsense affidavits to the court, and the courts will accept it. Any papers he wants to put in, any paper you want to send, they will accept every single document that the attorneys want to put in. Now, the whole trick is you tell those attorneys to stand in open court on the oath of affirmation and swear to that. And they'll be like, well, we can't. That's right, you can't. But you can put all the documents in, so they try to trick you people into saying, well, look, he did an affidavit. I thought only men were... Why can't they swear? Because they, they have no first-hand knowledge because they're not a party to the case. If oh, okay. you, are you uh-huh. up to the Area? You're in the New York area, right? New Jersey. Right. New, uh, near New York, yes. Right. So right at the border. Have you you heard that the, for the last two years that there's not been one foreclosure in the state of New York, right? Oh, I didn't know that. You Google that because the judge said if any attorney comes to court with any paperwork from a bank trying to foreclose on some little old lady, that attorney is going to be held liable to whatever that bank submits to the court. So, attorney, if you want to take the stand and put your hand on the Bible, on the oath of affirmation, and swear that you know for a fact that that little old lady owes Bank of America money, we'll take your testimony. Until then, um, you know, that's going to be the rules of the game. So, like I said, Google that when you get a chance that there has been no foreclosures in the state of New York for like the last two or three years because the attorneys are terrified because the judges aren't playing this nonsense no more. They're sending little old ladies affidavits, but now the judge is saying, somebody like me or Mr. Cherry said to the judge, hey, Make that judge, make that attorney go on a witness stand and put his hand up and swear to that. Or make the bank come forward. And they're like, uh, we're not going to do that. Yeah, so let's then, swear them in. Let's swear them in. Yeah, so, let's swear them in. Let's get them under oath and let's put them on the stand if they're going to testify. There's not been one foreclosure well, in the state of New York in the last couple of years. It's crazy. A party only in common law. That's right. Only an only man. Only a man could be injured in common law like that. That's right. Because only a man could verify. Not certify, verify. Google the difference between certify and verify, and you'll see what I'm saying. Because my whole entire case file has been certified by the clerks of the courts, nine judges, 17 attorneys, all certified that it's genuine, perfect, and legitimate. It's ridiculous. Everything in there is total fraud and a total sham. All certification means is one person picked up a piece of paper and says, do you believe... Do you believe I have a piece of paper in my hand? Yes. Okay. Stamp that seal and just certify that I'm holding a piece of paper. Certify just means that another person believes that that paper exists. It doesn't mean anything on the document is true. 